This is WUSA 9 News at 5, and look at those faces. DC's nearly year-long panda drought has come to an end. This was the moment when FedEx's Panda Express touched down in the DMV. Bao Li and Ching Bao are now the first new pandas to come to Washington in 24 years. The pair of three-year-olds were then loaded into trucks for the final leg of their 8,000-mile journey. A motorcade with a police escort took them from Dulles Airport to the National Zoo in Northwest. Thank you so much for joining us on WUSA 9 and streaming on WUSA 9 Plus. I'm Simone D'Alba. I'm Leslie Foster. So much for anonymity. I mean, they really wanted you to know that the pandas are here. Foley and Ching Bao, Bao Li and Ching Bao, I should say, are now getting settled into their new home, but it could be months before they are formally introduced to the rest of us. Our Leslie Moreno is live outside the National Zoo with more on DC's newest residents and so much excitement around town. Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, I can tell you people waited outside the National Zoo for hours this morning, hoping to catch a glimpse of those pandas we saw as people cheered this morning as those large FedEx trucks arrived to the gates here uh, behind me. We know the pandas will be calling DC home for the next 10 years and many people uh, we've been talking to here throughout the day telling us they're excited to watch the pandas grow and to grow up with the pandas as well. Giant pandas Bao Li and Ching Bao are officially home. And almost like when they were laying the, the, um, uh, the branches down when Jesus was coming through. The three-year-old pandas are the first pair DC has seen in 24 years. Closest thing we have in DC to royalty. The queen is coming to town. The pandas boarded the Panda Express on Monday morning, traveling from China to Alaska to Dulles Airport this morning. Finally, home to the National Zoo, where they were greeted by loving fans like Amy Henderson, who's lived in the district since 1995. I found myself this morning thrilled, probably more than usual, because of the election and Gaza. It's a good thing, which we all need, I think, right now. Non Erin walks the zoo daily. She says it hasn't been the same. And the zoo hasn't seen much attendance. Local businesses say they've also noticed a decrease in customers when the pandas left last November. We are really, really excited. We have missed them terribly on a personal level and also on a professional level. It's been pretty bad for business. Yale Craigman owns Baked by Yale. Her business sits right across the zoo's main entrance. She's hoping the pandas' arrival will bring in much needed foot traffic. It's huge. It's huge for us. You know, we don't have a, a huge marketing budget, so we really rely on the zoo to do that for us. And when the pandas has come. People come from all over the world and they're so happy and they're so excited and they want anything panda related. So we try to be prepared. Now we can also tell you that the zoo was closed for that special arrival today. They will be reopening tomorrow. However, if you're looking forward to uh, meeting these pandas and getting to see them, unfortunately, that won't be possible for quite some time. Uh, we do know the pandas have to go through this quarantine phase. Officially, the panda exhibit won't be open until January of next year. So we've got quite some time before we can meet them, guys. And when they do finally sort of come out to the rest of us and we get to see them, I can only imagine how long it's going to take to actually get a ticket to see one. Oh, the, lines. the lines. We're going to be excited, though. We're looking forward we to sure it. We sure are. Leslie, thank you. Be sure to stay with WUSA 9 for the latest on the return of pandas to D.C. and their impending debut at the National Zoo. Look for extended coverage on the free WUSA 9 Plus streaming app for Roku, Fire TV, and wherever you stream.